crash and burn. Hey everybody. So tonight I want to discuss, I believe, the 2011 film, and that is Steven Soderbergh's absolutely killer fucking Contagion. This stars Gwyneth Paltrow, Matt Damon, Lawrence Fishburne, um, and all of a sudden Kate Winslet. Okay, I'm totally, totally blanking on the billions of Jude Law. Um, there are a ton of people in this movie. Okay, and that light just died, and it actually scared the hell out of me there, sort of. So... No joke, that actually did scare me, kind of. Not gonna lie. But yeah, so what this tells the story of mainly is the Emhoff family. This is Beth and her husband, Mitch, played by Matt Damon, and Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow has been cheating on her husband with uh, some dude by the name of John Neal, I believe. And that's how the movie kicks off, is her having a conversation with John Neal at an airport and how she really enjoyed seeing him. Now, technically, the movie kicks off with her coughing because, you know, she's kind of patient zero. And we don't find out how she trans how she ended up contracting, I think it's, what is it, MEV1, I believe, until the end of the movie when she shakes hands with the chef who had touched the diseased pig. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite thing about this was how... Uh, Roughly nine years later, this movie would be put through its paces as far as what it would get right and what it wouldn't get right regarding a very real life pandemic. And that, of course, I'm speaking, of course, sorry, about COVID. And it did show that Steven Soderbergh had done his homework because when COVID kicked off, there was a touch of sort of mass hysteria. There was some looting and whatnot and people way over buying toilet paper, that's for sure. But for the most part, what he nailed so correctly was just that endless sense of isolation. How these places that were once crowded with people, like shopping malls and airports, they become vacant and bare. Because that is exactly what happened through 2020 and 2021, as everybody on planet Earth knows. So I like that I always trusted Steven Soderbergh because I knew he was a, an incredibly talented filmmaker. But up until that point, or up until COVID, I mean, his work had existed securely in the world, in the realm of fiction. But then when COVID jumped off, we all got a real good look at just how right he got aspects of a pandemic. I mean, the isolation was my favorite part about that movie. I loved how on one hand, you know, you still have your family and your friends, but because of what's going on, you have to keep your distance. And back in 2011, this idea seemed so alien and so off, but then as of 2021, 2022, we were all dreading the idea of another lockdown. So we got to see exactly what it was like. And like I said, I just love how on point Soderbergh was. And I love how the virus spreads and how one in four people will contract it. And I loved how deadly the MEV virus was. And I am so thankful that COVID was not that deadly. Um, I loved the performances. I loved how this movie wasn't afraid to kill off its cast. And I love how incredibly sympathetic Matt Damon played his character Mitch. I mean, his wife was cheating on him, then his wife dies. And then his son dies, and all he's got left of his, of his family is his daughter, and he's worried about her, and my heart just broke for him. And at the end, when he sets up the little makeshift prom for his daughter in his living room, and he finds the camera with pictures of Beth, and he breaks down and starts crying. And it's like, not only does he have to deal with the fact that the woman that he loved is gone, she was cheating on him too. And it's like, that's a lot for somebody to have to digest. And he did a really good job of conveying that with such conviction and such honesty. Well, look, I'm going to stop talking. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little over four minutes while I discuss Steven Soderbergh's absolutely fucking killer, I believe, 2011 film. And that is Contagion. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But please, most importantly, like always, don't forget that the world is actually a better place because you are in it. I'm going to go. Have a good night.